National Aerospace Plane, or NASP, represents the future in aeronautics and space technology. The X-30 space plane will take off from runways and fly directly into Earth orbit, using air-breathing engines as its primary propulsion. NASP technology will lead to operational vehicles that will give flexible, efficient access to space in the 21st century. Technology from NASP is already being applied in the fields of materials and computer science. The NASP program is jointly managed by NASA and the Department of Defense. The NASP Joint Program Office at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base selected NASA's John C. Stennis Space Center on the Mississippi Gulf Coast to conduct high-temperature tests on new materials and structures being developed for NASP. This selection was largely due to Stennis' experience in propulsion testing over the past three decades the availability of skilled personnel, and the center's unique facilities. The high heat flux facility being built at Stennis will use rocket engines to simulate the harsh heating environment that the NASP will have to endure during flight. The NASP research vehicle needs new materials and structural concepts to handle the heat of combustion in the air breathing engine and the heat of air friction during the high speed flight within the atmosphere. During test of the high heat flux facility, structural panels representing large pieces of the engine, wings, or fuselage will be exposed to the flame of rocket engines to reach temperatures of 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Beginning in the fall of 1993, this facility will provide these well-controlled high temperatures for extended durations to test NASP components for the engine and fuselage. It will also provide high-pressure liquid or gases for test article conditioning at variable temperatures and pressures. The high heat flux facility is unique in the United States and providing the combined environment capability of exposing the NAS materials to both high temperatures and sound waves. The facility will provide the NAS program the ability to evaluate various materials under simulated flight conditions. This data will reduce program risk, thereby reducing total cost. Tests conducted at the high heat flux facility will be a vital link in the technology development phase of the National Aerospace Plane Program. Later, the facility will be expanded to accommodate larger test panels and longer test durations to better simulate the NASP flight profile. This will further advance technology and make a very positive contribution to the NASP program and America's preeminence in aerospace research. America's National Aerospace Plane. Technology that is blazing a trail for a new era in the history of human flight.